Welcome to Precision Weigh-In Balances. Today we're going to be showing you the A&D FX5000i. This balance weighs up to 5200 grams by a hundredth of a gram. And so you can see the balance has a nice blue vacuum fluorescent display and you can weigh in multiple weigh modes simply by pressing the mode key. So if you notice in the lower right hand corner it says G for grams and if we press the mode button we can simply switch it this is piece count percent weigh mode ounces pounds regular ounces or that's ounce colon pounds and this would be troy ounces carrots this is mummies used overseas this is penny weight used by jewelers. This is grains used by gun and ammo. And this is another foreign unit overseas, and we're back to grams. So I'd like to go over um, some of the features of the balance and how simple it is to use. The A&D FXI series is a force restoration balance. It's extremely easy to calibrate, and we'll go through the weigh modes. Unlike competitive brands, um, that are on the market for weigh modes typically you have only a primary primary and secondary mode with a and d we've already scrolled through it's a simple press of the button and you can also go into the manual and disable these weigh features so if you only wanted grams in penny weight you could set up your balance like that the balance comes standard with an ac adapter this unit only can be ran off of uh, AC power unless there is an optional battery pack that you can put in. It's pretty expensive, but I would recommend just running the scale off of AC adapter. So the balance comes standard with that. The balance also comes with a spill guard. A lot of manufacturers on the market today charge upwards of $45 to $50. We have one manufacturer charging $50. Um, it's a low cost. Uh, plastic shield so if you were we'll say mitts and ink and your hands were uh, covered with ink instead of pressing the keypads and touching them uh, this protects the scale so it's a basic feature and they do sell additional units but when you buy the unit you'll get one of these uh, standard the balance that goes to 0 0.01 grams does not come with a draft shield there is an option. You can either buy the 3.4 inch high draft shield or there is a 7.9. Now, if you go with the milligram balance in the FXI or FXZ series, so the three decimal place balance comes with the short draft shield, which is 3.4 inches high. Um, some people would want that draft shield to prevent air currents. It's a nice little option to buy and it's very affordable. You can visit our website at either balances.com or scaleman.com and we have all these accessories available. Um, the balance on the FX series has external calibration only. Now the calibration weights are optional. So you have to go and buy your own calibration weights. If you visit our website at calibrationweight.com, we have a large selection of calibration weights. Um, the FXZ series has the internal calibration. So we'll go through the calibration on this balance in a minute. So again, this balance has 5,200 grams by a hundredth of a gram. So we'll tear the balance and I have five kilograms. And we have 200 gram weight. And you'll see if we put an excessive load on it, anything over that, you get E, overload. So you have 5,200 grams by a hundredth of a gram. And this balance in particular can be calibrated with either a 3 kilogram, 2 kilogram, 1 kilogram, or 500 gram weight. The default is 5,000. Um, some models in the FX series has the ability to only select two different weights. Others have five. For 2012, a and introduced the FX5000i, which is the 5200 by 0 0.01, and there's also an FX500i, which is 500 by a milligram. A&D has one of the best user manuals in the industry. 
Um, competitors out there have very complicated and hard to understand manuals. So here you have uh, what comes with the balance. And again, the milligram balances come with this short draft shield. And you can buy uh, this draft shield on the 0 0.01 gram balances as an accessory. So the balance for configuration and all that, A&D gives you step-by-step -step procedures uh, on setup, response time. Very simple, step-by-step. -step. And again, other manufacturers on the marketplace have complicated manuals and their goal is really to call them for a service call so they can get you up for a service contract. A&D gives you all the information right here. Extremely simple step-by-step -step instructions. We've already covered about the milligram balances. Um, having the draft shield, the .01 balances do have the larger weigh pan. So that's one nice feature with this. So on this particular balance, your weigh pan, the diameter is 5.9 inches versus on the 0 .001 readability balances, the one milligram balances, that diameter is 5.7 inches. Um, you have a stainless steel platform that's removable and underneath here you have a pan support. And this particular pan support is uh, looks like a cast aluminum pan support. The other models, they do have a plastic pan support, but because of the higher capacity, this one's made out of aluminum. Uh, we've already covered AC adapter. We have a five-year limited manufacturer's warranty. Uh, the FXZ series, which is very similar to this, does have the motorized internal calibration. The balance comes with a sprint bubble indicator in the lower left-hand corner. This is so that you can level your balance and you have adjustable feet on the bottom. It's critical always to have your balance level. You do have an underhook. I'll flip this balance over in a minute and show you that. This balance is built with a super hybrid sensor, so it's extremely fast. And this is proprietary for A and D. No, nobody in the industry has this SHS super hybrid sensor. You have a nice small footprint. This balance measures 7.6 inches by 10.3 inches, and it's 3.3 inches high. So laboratories have limited space. This has a nice small footprint with a big pan. Nice design by a and You have the um, parts counting feature. If you ever want to count any pieces or parts, the presets for the parts counting is 5, 10, 25, 50. You have the ability to change the response time. I wanted to show you that. So if we have a weight on here, you can change the response time. And what the response time does is it allows uh, the stabilization time to show the weight, depending upon if you have some air current. So simply pressing down the mode button and holding it, you'll notice you have response and then you have it in mid. To change this, one simply presses the mode key and you can go to slow. And to store it, you're going to hit the print key and then it will return. And so you can see the balance is a little bit slower in the slow mode. Okay, and now we'll go back and we'll change it to the fast mode. Simply, so now you notice it says fast, hit the print button to store it, and you'll see how much quicker the response time is. Again, sometimes in unstable environments, the fast mode is too fast. And now we'll set it back to the default, which is going to be mid. Okay, we're going to go over calibration now. Well, I guess one more thing I just wanted to show you. You can put a pan on here. We sell these optional weigh pans. You can tear it out. And I just wanted to show you I have some rice here, just the response. This is in medium mode. And you can see you know the balance is very quick for the price that you're paying 
So we do sell these weigh dishes if you want. Um, it's a nice accessory. So I want to go over calibration so we can calibrate this balance for you. So the first thing you want to do is zero the balance out. And to perform calibration, one simply presses the cal button. It says cal out and then it says cal zero. Now here, if you want to change the calibration weight, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is press the sample key and you'll see we're at 5,000 right now. We can change this by pressing the re-zero key and you'll notice we can calibrate it with 500, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, we're back to 5,000. So we'll leave it on at 5,000. And now we need to store it. To store it, you want to hit the print button. So we're back to Cal Zero. And at Cal Zero, we're going to be storing the value with nothing on the platform. To do this, we're going to just pr simply press the print key. And you'll notice up in the upper left-hand corner, the little arrow, it's storing it. So now the balance shows 5,000. We're going to put our 5,000 gram weight on the balance in the center of the platform. And now we're simply going to press the print key again. Again, in the upper left-hand corner, we have that arrow. It's storing the value. Now it says Cal end. Remove the weight. Place the weight back on. there you have it so we can do the calibration again I can get it in tighter but I just wanted to basically show you how to do the calibration um, just go over the a few more quick features with the balance I'm going to shut off the balance and I just want to show you what's behind this balance so again we have the weigh pan that's removable this is a nice this is only on the 5000 series you get this nice cast aluminum pan support on the bottom of the balance here we have two adjustable feet and we also have a port here and on this port this is for way below so there's a little hook I'm not too sure if the camera can get this but right in here there's a hook and you would hang a wire to do the specific gravity beneath the balance or weigh in magnetic materials or hot materials so that's a nice feature. A lot of balances in this series, uh, that feature would not be on the balance. On the rear of the balance, you'll see you have an RS-232 interface. So you have a 9-pin RS-232 interface. This would be used with a printer or if you're sending data to a PC. And then right under here, this is the port. And on this port, if you open this up, you could put in either an Ethernet module or a USB module so that's a accessory this little screw here is for grounding your balance and then at the very bottom you have a this is a little hook here that you put a cable through for locking down your balance so this here is the a and D FX I series we are precision weighing balances we're an authorized a and D dealer if you have any questions give us a call or visit either of our websites, balances.com or scaleman.com. Thank you.